It is reveal day and I am so freaking super excited about this video. I am excited about this launch. This video will be filmed, edited, and going up in the same day. I actually got this palette on Wednesday. Today is Saturday, which is reveal day. I didn't get a chance to film sooner, so yeah. We're getting a lot of work done today, but this is the Nomad Royal Europe palette and you guys when i saw this being teased i i got so freaking super excited you guys know i love nomad cosmetics i have been in love with them for you know a couple of years now each day leading up into reveal day they tease a little bit of the palette they give some clues about what the color story the overall theming the packaging and everything is going to be i mean and this is our packaging it is royal europe you guys this packaging the cover it has texture it has layers. It's like different layers kind of stacked up on each other. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I will be showing close-ups of the packaging, the shades, everything in just a little bit, but this is what the actual packaging is looking like. And this is our color store. We have 10 mattes and then we have five kind of shimmery duo multi-chrome shades and these shimmers and the swatches you guys wait till you see them hopefully the video does justice because it's hard to get that flip you know in a video but these were gorgeous every single one of them has a shift and so freaking pretty one thing that i did notice when i was doing my swatches this formula is a little bit easier to work with, in my opinion, than the one in the Valentine's Day palette, the Romeo and Julia palette that came out in like late January, early February. I found these to be a little bit creamier and just easier to pick up than the ones in that palette. And it's absolutely beautiful. I The whole thing is just gorgeous. Launch day is this Tuesday, March 28th. It will launch at around 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Central Time, so that'll be about 11 p.m. here. The palette retails for $57, but you can get the multi-chrome shades individually for $12 each if you're not wanting the whole palette and you just want to do it that way. The palette is not limited edition. That means that they will be restocking it, so if you're not able to get it on launch day, don't panic. You don't have to worry about FOMO. It will be restocked multiple times. Once again, not limited edition so you will have plenty of opportunities to pick up this palette. With each palette they always include this little card and on the back of it it has all the details that explain you know the color story, the theming, what the destination is because if you are new to Nomad Cosmetics each palette represents a specific destination. It could be a city, country, it could be a specific landmark, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of read through what's on the back of this card and then on the screen, you will see all of the close-ups of the packaging, as well as the embossings in the pans and the swatches. New Royal Europe Intense Color and Chrome Palette with Multi-Chrome Singles. The destination is from Versailles to Buckingham, a collection of royal palaces and castles span across Europe, each full of family jewels, palatial rooms, and heirlooms of a bygone era. Uniquely different in their expansive estates, imposing architecture and precious treasures, they all are impressive destinations that create a sense of awe and inspiration. Jewels and gems fit for royal. Collection of 10 luxurious mats and opulent jewel tones of amber, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and ruby highlighted by five dazzling new multi-chromes that add a spectacular ornate touch. We are proud to support UNESCO World Heritage Center that protects and preserves precious heritage sites around the world. Color stories and formulas like this, I find them to be very inspiring. They make me want to play with the formula. They make me want to see what kind of looks that I can put together. And what we're going to do now is put together the look that is currently on my eyes. You guys, I had so much fun putting this look together. So let's jump right on in and I will show you how this look came together. I think I have a pretty good idea of what it is that I'm wanting to do with this look. There are just so many different directions that I could go in. I've recently done green and I've recently done kind of a purpley pink look. I think I want to focus on maybe these two shades right here. Make these two shades my focus as far as my mattes and then maybe bring in this shimmer and this shimmer. We will see. But the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyelids and I'm going to use my party proof eyeshadow primer from ColourPop. This shade is in caramel. It's kind of that middle shade. I'm going to start with Hall of Mirrors, which is this deeper blue. We're going to lay that on the outer corner, and then I'm going to take King's Room right here and just kind of blend that into the crease. I might have to take something a little bit lighter to blend it all out, but let's just start with 
hall of mirrors and go from there. These embossings are so pretty. I do not want to dip in them, but we're going to take our Beauty Bay brush here. This is my little pointed kind of a detailed brush, and we're going to tap the shade on the outer corner. These shades are so freaking pretty. Just so rich and so vibrant. Now that I have that shade packed on, I'm just going to start slowly blending it into the crease. I have my window open. It's like super sunny and bright outside. And I thought, you know what? Let's film this with a little bit more natural light. I'm usually just I'm usually just using you know the room light with the ring light and the box lights. And I thought, let's see what a little bit of natural sunlight will look like. Now we're gonna take King's room and put that in the crease. And I'm just gonna use this pointed crease brush from Real Techniques. Tap into these shadows. They do have a little bit of fallout, so you might want to be careful with that. And I'm just going to slowly tap it into the crease. And then we're going to blend it out. This shade is very similar to the one that I just laid down. It's just got a little bit more green in it. You're not really seeing too much of a difference between the two. I think if I started with this shade first and then taking the blue on the outer corner, you might see it more. But right now, they're just kind of blended into each other. It's not much of a difference. To add just a little bit more contrast into this look, I'm going to take the ballroom right here and lay that kind of in the inner portion of the eye since those first two shades just kind of you know melt right into each other and you're not really seeing too much of a difference. Just gonna lightly take this into the inner portion of the eye and just slowly blend it into those other two shades. So pretty. I'm going to work on the blend between these two shades here in the middle. To help blend out the top I'm going to take Palace of Rosales right here and we're going to use that just to kind of help get a little bit more of a blend up there. And we're just going to lightly blend. The edges up here are like really harsh and I just want to soften them just a little bit. I love this big fluffy brush for blending out edges and just kind of softening everything. That is much, much better. Moving into our shimmers, we're going to take Royal Orb and I'm going to lay that on the outer portion of the eye, kind of like all over the lid. On the inner portion of the eye, we are going to take Royal Treasure. Royal Orb has kind of like a green to blue shift and then Royal Treasure has like a green to pink shift or like a bluish pink to green shift. I mean, these two shades should be absolutely gorgeous together. To make sure these shimmers pop, I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Base and I'm going to lay that all over the lid where I'm wanting the shimmers to go. With shimmers like these, like the ones in Nomad palettes, using a glitter base will really help them to just kind of pop and adhere to your eyelids so you don't have like a lot of fallout. Dipping into Royal Orb on that same sticky side, I'm just going to start tapping it onto the lid. Oh my word, that's pretty. I don't think I've done like a green, purpley, bluish look in a while, so this is fun. And this shade is so shifty. I don't know if you're getting that shift on camera that I'm seeing, but it is absolutely stunning. I'm going to take Royal Treasure now, and we're going to lay that in the inner portion of the eye. Ooh, that is like a deep, rich, shifty purple. Ooh, ooh. I hope you guys are seeing on camera what I'm seeing, because it is so pretty. And blending that into this shade, do you see that? Like right in here? Oh my word, that is stunning. Y'all, I am just like floored by the way this palette is performing. It is so pretty. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Hall of Mirrors just to blend out these edges. And then we will put our inner corner shade. Since there's nothing light enough in the Nomad palette to work as an inner corner, I'm going to once again pull my Noctilucent palette from Blend Bunny. I think I'm going to take Enlighten which is kind of a green to pink kind of a shift. I think that'll work really well in the inner corner. Ooh, okay. In the palette, when you're looking at the shift, it looks like greenish pink, but on, it's more of a gold. Do you see that? Yeah, that's not what, what I was originally going for, but I think it's pretty. I think it actually works with this look. Yeah, kind of like that. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be it for our shadows. I'm going to put on my liner and lashes off camera, pick something from my waterline, throw something on my lips, and then we'll come back and see the final look all put together. Final look is complete, and you guys, I am absolutely loving the way that this look came together. It has been a long time since I've done something this colorful, really played around with like different shades and tones like this, but I'm just loving how everything came out. For my wing, I'm using once again my Artista liner from AOA Studio. In my waterline, I'm using from Perfusion one of the multi-color duochrome liners. This shade is in Cyber. It has a really pretty kind of a purple to blue shift. I thought it would go really well with this eye look, and I think it just kind of helps add a little bit more. It helps everything pop a little bit more. My lip pencil and lip color are both from ColourPop. The lip pencil is in Bumble, and then the lipstick is in Oasis. It's a very pretty soft pink. This is one of their blur formulas. I love it. It's just so pretty. I wanted something a little bit softer to go with the eye look so there wouldn't be like a huge contrast. I wanted the eyes to be the focus of this look and once again I am loving how everything came together. My lashes once again are from Salon Perfect, the Whisper Wink lashes. I got these from Walmart and they're really, they're really pretty. I'm really enjoying them. Final first impression thoughts on this palette, and I will be doing multiple looks. I'm going to try to do a two looks, one palette video. I haven't done one of those in a while, but I really want to play with this some more. You guys, the mattes were pigmented. They blended like a dream. I did not have any issues at all. These shimmers, the shimmers were just so smooth and shiny and just just multi-dimensional. I mean, I am loving the way that they look. They're absolutely beautiful. I have absolutely no complaints about this palette. I have nothing negative to say. I think they really knocked it out of the ballpark with this palette. It is just absolutely gorgeous. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with my channel and getting my videos into recommendations. If you are new to the channel and you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe. Make sure you also tap the notification bell so you do not miss a thing and you can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.